In this list, we have student score results and the number of minutes that it took them to complete a test. We've used the rank function here to get each student's rank, but we want to break any ties. So in this case, we have students at the end of the list who both are in rank four because they have the same score. One of them took 27 minutes to complete the test and the other took 29. So we're going to use the time in order to break the tie that occurred in this list. I'm going to create a formula that will break the ties by adding a decimal amount to any ranks where there's a tie. So to start the formula, I'll type an equal sign and if. So we're going to check something. We're going to check to see if there's more than one person with a rank. And if there is, we're going to add a decimal amount. If there is no duplicate rank, then we'll just put a zero here. So the first thing we'll do is count how many people are at this same rank. And to do that, we'll use count if and an open bracket. So count if needs a range that we're going to check. So we're going to count in this range column and I'll press the F4 key because I want this to be an absolute reference. I'll type a comma and the criteria I want it to check is which rank. So I'll check the rank in the current row and close that bracket. So if the count of this rank and then I'll do a greater than symbol and one. So if the count is greater than one for this rank, comma, then it should rank the scores. So we'll use the rank function here. Check the number, which is this time, comma. The reference we want it to check now is how long the time took. So these cells, press F4 to lock that in as an absolute reference, then a comma. Now in this case, a lower time is better. So we want to use a one here, so it will be in ascending order. And close that bracket. So it's now going to find the rank of the time and just to get a decimal, we'll divide that by 100. And to end the if now, we'll type a comma and a zero. So if there's no need for a decimal, there's no tie, just put a zero there. Close the bracket and press enter. So this doesn't need a tie breaker. If I point to this fill handle and double click to fill it down, two scores that were tied now have a tiebreaker. This one took less time, so the decimal is lower. The final rank will be equal to the original rank plus any tiebreaker. Press enter and I'll fill that down. So now we can see that the original ranks are showing for these. There were no ties, but now this one is 4.05, so it will rank slightly ahead of the person who has the same score, but took a little bit longer to finish the test.